What is up? Good evening to everybody. Hey, this is Cody Askins with 8% Nation Insurance Wealth Conference. I am here with Mr. Vince Spompanato, Managing Partner for North Star Insurance Advisors. Thanks for being on, buddy. What's going on, big boy? What's going on? How you doing? Dude, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, I'm excited to be doing this with you, buddy. It's, it's been, uh, we've known each other for probably about a year, about a year. I don't know. It seems longer than that. It's, you know, we, 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 we seem like we've just been going back and forth for a while now. It really does. It feels like so much longer. It's crazy. Uh, but dude, Vince has been an awesome dude in, in my life. The, the dude knows telesales inside and out. And so I'm interviewing him live on the 8% Nation page right now because Vince is a keynote speaker at the 8% Nation Wealth Conference at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Dude, we're excited to have you speak, bro. I'm super excited. I'm super pumped up. It'll be one of the first times that I've spoken to a group this large, and uh, it's exciting. I mean, first time getting on the on the stage with with people like Grant Cardone, Coach Burt, man, yeah. it's, 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 that, that's exciting. Tim Stories, you know, that's, that's a privilege to get on a stage with guys like that. For real. Yeah, Ray Lewis, I mean, it's, it's really nuts, really, to think about, you know, that we've got some, we got some industry dudes like you and I that are going to be hanging out with those guys for a couple days, getting on stage before or after them, you know, it's, it's crazy. So I'm, I'm extremely excited about it. So, so, so why don't we do this? Why don't we start by you, by, by you giving everyone um, a little, a, a little background. Also, um, for you guys to know, uh, Vince and I met on Facebook. We were both putting out content. I saw, I, I saw him shooting a video about taking out the trash um, in his Porsche, and I'm like, dude, I got to know this dude. I'm like, I, I got to get to know this guy. Uh, and he's been following some of our videos. We talk leads a lot. Um, he does have a special for everybody that joins. He does have a special coupon code, Telesales for 50% off at the website. So, so kind of give us a little background about you, buddy, and, and, and your story for a second. Sure, sure. Well, uh, you know, I have a, an extensive telesales background. I started uh, my, my career in the mortgage business, and uh, I did that for about, I don't know, I want to say probably close to eight, nine years. And uh, when the mortgage fallout happened in the early 2000s, uh, I needed to make a change and I, I flipped over to uh, insurance. And so I got into selling uh, health insurance over the telephone. And as we all know what happened, uh, you know, Obamacare came out and it changed the whole, the whole scenery when it comes to um, underage health. And so at that point in time, I decided that, you know what, I never want to be left out in the cold again. I'm going to get into a business that is recession proof. And I, I looked for something and I said, you know what, final expense insurance is awesome because you know, as long as people are getting their social security benefits, I don't see this business going out of business. And so uh, I learned how to sell final expense out in the field, uh, the traditional way, running appointments, direct mail leads. And uh, that didn't last very long. I, I stayed out in the field for about two to three months uh, and I said, there's got to be a better way. I, I can sell this insurance over the telephone. I know I can. If I can sell mortgages over the telephone, if I Dude. can sell health insurance over the telephone, why in the heck can't I sell final expense insurance over the telephone? And that was about 10 years ago today. Wow. And so, Cody, what happened was um, – I, I just I just figured it out. I went I went to the drawing board with my partner and I said, I'm gonna figure out how to sell final expense insurance over the telephone. Nobody was doing it at the time. Nobody was doing it. And uh, we just we buckled down and here we are ten years later and we're banging it out. We're selling uh, we're doing about three thousand policies a, a month in final expense telesales. That, that's insane because I, we got a lot of agents going to be at this conference. We're expecting over 2,000 agents, Nissan Stadium. And to hear from a dude, to be able to come and learn hand in hand from a guy that has a call center that's going to do, you know, a telesales operation that's going to do almost 40,000 final expense policies in 12 months. Dude, that's insane. That's just something you don't hear. Uh, and, and so to get from, you know, where you started to where you are now, Dude, 
it's unbelievable. That's that's awesome to hear. That's amazing. Which is why you're a part of this thing, man. It's been a journey, my man, and 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 I got a lot to share. And agents need to know that you know there's a there's a new way of doing this. You don't have to be out in the streets knocking on doors anymore. And uh, agents need to know, you know, you can market on Facebook. You can do all these different things to uh, utilize the technology of today so that you make the whole United States your territory as opposed to just your, your small local market where you're having a hard time getting direct mail leads and you're spending, you know, 28 to $35 a lead uh, that you don't even know if they're going to even be home when you show up there, you know? So there's, I, I'm going to talk a lot about that at the conference. Dude. So, 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 so talking about what you're going to talk about at the conference, give them a little, uh, give them a little, give them a little taste. D don't, 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 don't give it all to them because again, they got to use that coupon go over 50% off and grab a ticket because we want to hang out with them there, but give them, give them a little taste of kind of your theme message and some of the things that they can expect to learn from being at this wealth conference. Well, they're going to gain a lot of insight into a completely different way of writing final expense business. I'm going to talk about, you know, the utilization of a voice signature. I'm going to share my my story about how I was able to disrupt the final expense insurance business and how you can too, how you can get involved in in what we're doing and and disrupting the 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 traditional way of writing business in the field. Uh, agents are going to learn about how to sell final expense insurance effectively over the telephone without needing to actually see the person uh, in person. You're not going to have to get those paper applications out anymore. Um, I'm going to touch on why I believe uh, every insurance agent should learn how to sell over the telephone, whether you're going to do it full time or not. You need to understand this technology and you need to start utilizing it for the days that you don't want to be out in the field knocking on doors when it's snowing, when it's icy, when it's 110 degrees outside. Yeah. Um, Cody, agents will learn more about the best type of marketing, the best type of leads for final expense uh, telesales. Uh, they're going to learn how to get their hands on them. I may even touch a little bit on how they, if they're savvy enough, how they can generate them themselves. Uh, I'm going to be touching on uh, some of the most critical and fundamental aspects of final expense telesales. What you absolutely need to know in, able, uh, in order to be able to do this. I'm going to talk a little bit about best practices and some of the fundamentals uh, that agents need to know. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the technology that's required in order to be able to do this over the telephone. And I'm just going to talk about, I'm going to touch on the importance of compliance. You know, Cody, you know as well as I do that when you're working over the telephone, um, you got to be in compliance. You don't want to get yourself in trouble with lawsuits uh, when you're dealing with a protected class of citizen, like a senior citizen. And you're dealing with all of these uh, do not call lists and things of that nature. You know, you want to make sure you just don't jump right into telesales without the proper uh, compliance in place. So those are some of the things I'm going to touch on there. Dude, that's awesome, buddy. There's going to be a ton of value delivered live from a monster 30, 40 foot stage sitting on Nissan Stadium at this wealth conference. And we're extremely excited about Vince getting involved. So, so tell our audience, man, what was it about? the 8% Nation Insurance Wealth Conference that made you and Northstar want to get involved? Yeah, so, you know, uh, one of the biggest things that shocked me about it was the fact that you went out and uh, you procured Grant Cardone. I mean, that 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 alone is is monumental, man. I know that guy is, he's the real deal. I mean, he's, he's probably the top, sales trainers, top sales speaker in the world right now. And uh, for you to go out there and, and procure him and then Ray Lewis and Tim Story and, and Coach Burton, all these people, I said, man, I said, not only does the uh, insurance business not have a conference like this, but to be able to get on stage and to meet these guys and to network with these guys 
and then to to present to um, a bunch of young hustlers out in the in the crowd on what types of you know value I can bring to them and, 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 and the fact that I can help so many people. I mean, it just seemed like a perfect storm to be able to to get involved in it, and that's that's really why I did it. And and, and quite frankly, uh, you know, I'm proud of you for being able to put it all put it all together, man. It's it's Thank amazing. You, Thank you, brother. Really appreciate that, man, dude. It's it's uh, it's been a ton of fun. It's it's took a lot of it's took dude. It's took a lot of effort. It's took a lot of thinking big. It's you know we both preach all the time online. You know, hey, think outside the box. Be creative. Think big spend money, you know, and, and, and go for it and go all in. And so dude, thank you for, thank you for the kind words. Uh, so we both went to growth con in Vegas, growth con two. What was it about conferences and events and self-improvement and learning and networking was why are conferences and events so valuable? Because I know both of our businesses have grown since then. Yeah. Uh, well, for me, they're they're very very valuable to me because um, you you get there and it's the energy that you feel it's the it's the meeting of the people around you it's just it's just a completely different atmosphere and you know you can learn a lot from watching YouTube videos and and watching some of these people's content but at these conferences you're going to get a lot more value because you're not getting just little snippets of YouTube, you're getting involved in an experience and it can be life changing. I know Cody, when I, when I invited you to the growth con last, uh, what was it? February? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, February. I remember, you know, I invited you there, then you went down and, and met with Grant in his office and you, you got involved with them. And since you went to that conference, I've watched your business just explode. And so, you know, I know a lot of what you learned at that conference and, 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 and all the information you took, you were able to come back right away and implement that into your business. And, you know, I'm going to be sharing things with you guys about final expense telesales in a succinct way where when you get back to your house, if you want to start doing telesales, not only are you going to be able to shoot me a message on, you know, Facebook Messenger and say, hey, I was at uh, 8%. You know, I enjoyed your speech and you know, we're going to be talking and we're going to we're going to feel like we've networked. We've been to, to a place together and you're going to be able to take the information that I've given you and come back and apply it to your business. And we're going to have even though we may not shake hands there, which I hope we do, you're going to be able to say, hey, man, I was at eight percent and we're going to be able to talk. And, and you, you know, you're going to be able to shoot me messages on Facebook Messenger give me a call, whatever, but it's going to, it's just all about the networking, the energy, the information that you're going to get from all of these people. I mean, some of which are, you know, what Grant Cardone's worth 400 million. You got coach. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got some serious players there that can tell you how to 10 X your business. Dude, it's, it's nuts. And, and you mentioned, uh, you mentioned some things have changed in my business by focusing on self-improvement and going to events like this. Most people don't even realize it. I would say our business has four to five X this year since February, just by going into it to an event because yeah, did I networked. I met some awesome people. We got to hang out a little bit. I got to hang out backstage. I got to meet, I got to walk around with Damon John, you know, just some cool stuff like that, that, that you only get a chance to do at events, just uh -huh. life changing experiences that you remember forever. Right. But I also learned tangible nuggets that I was able, like you said, that I was able to come back and implement into my business that I never, some of the things I'll share from stage at Nissan Stadium, some things I would have never learned had I not have spent a little bit of money to help my business forever. I, I agree, man. Uh, at the beginning of the year, we were doing about uh, a million a month. We're doing well over $2 million a month in, in production now, which, I mean, a lot of that we were able to go and implement a lot of the social media strategies about, you know, creating leads and working with you and just, you know, you, you gain so much information from these places that you can't get, you can't get unless you show up. Completely. I think that's one of the reasons why 92% of insurance agents fail in our business today 
that's the, that's the reason we call it 8% for those that are wondering is they don't take the time to invest in themselves, in their business, self-improvement, learning, picking up. I mean, a lot of, a lot of agents will use the excuse that, you know what, Hey, I don't generate leads cause I don't know how, or, you know, I don't, I, I don't tell a sale cause I don't know how, you know, the yeah. people that are successful will do whatever it takes to figure those things out. They don't give up. I heard a saying the other day, don't give up five minutes before your miracle. A lot yeah. of people give up just before they figure stuff out. Dude, people like you and I and other people in this industry that are gonna be able to speak at this thing, they took the time. Now, cost them some money, cost them some time, cost them some blood, sweat, and tears, but they did whatever it took. You didn't you didn't wake up great at telesales, am I right? And now maybe you did, but most don't. No, no, man. I, I sucked. I, I in fact, I was just telling my wife earlier today, uh, no, it was yesterday, actually. I was telling her, I said, you know, when I got into sales uh, as a young guy, you know, I sucked at sales. I really, really sucked. I actually hated it. And yeah. uh, I stuck through it, though, and, and, and kept pushing along. And eventually, I started to love it. I started loving sales because I got better and better and better at it. And I have a saying. I say, you know, winners find a way losers find an excuse mm. you know winners find a way they're gonna find a way to make it happen and you know what one of those ways to find a way to make it happen is to show up to events like this and learn from people that have already made the way that are making the way that are burning trails that are blazing trails that's what you do and like you said cody you know yeah you gotta spend some money you got to invest some time in yourself. You got to you got to show up. Otherwise, you don't get to reap the rewards. Completely, completely. That's that's one of the things that uh, I've definitely thought about over the last eight nine years in this business is the small difference there really is between agents that fail and agents that succeed. It's not as far of a gap as people think. It's just that maybe they worked a little harder. Maybe they did a little more. Maybe they put a little more time in. Maybe they found a system to plug into. These are all things that we're going to be going over at the conference, and I'm super, super, super excited to have you involved. One of our, one of our, one of our, one of our uh, marketing guys just jumped in and said, "Hey, so excited to see you speak, Apex Nation, Vince. Uh, what's a good telesales tip that no one else would think of? That no one else would think of. Ooh, ooh." Let me think about that. Well, I know you. I know you, and that, I know some, this is something you're going to mention from stage, so I won't give away too much. But I know from knowing you that most people don't realize how important the relationship is in telesales. That's true. You know, one of the things that agents tend to do when they first get into telesales is they think that just because somebody filled out a form on Facebook or or called in on a television commercial that they should just start, you know, right into the pitch and quoting them and, and trying to sell an insurance policy because they called in on the television right away. Yeah. Uh, one, one thing that people are always surprised about uh, when I train them in telesales is that my presentation actually takes about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes to complete. And that's shocking to a lot of people. It's 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 a you know it's it's shocking to a lot of people because they were thinking it was going to take fifteen to twenty minutes. Right. Well, that's the thing. I mean, if you compare someone else that's building no relationship and no value, spending fifteen minutes, and you spending an hour, you know, I know you're going to give away a lot of secrets from stage, but it's like, dude, they're going you're going to see you're going to see a difference. They're going to trust Vince, and they're not going to trust you. Right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Just just completely part of it. Uh. What was the, what do you expect the energy at, at this thing to be? I mean, at an NFL stadium, Ray Lewis and Grant Cardone on stage. Dude, I'm excited about the camaraderie, the VIP parties, the little, the little backstage things that we get to ask some of these guys, like some of the premier ticket holders, they get access to backstage. I mean, dude, there's just going to be some amazing things happen. Most people may never hear Here's what I would tell people. I mean, this place is going to be huge. And this is not like Grant Cardone where, you know, he's going to have 35,000 people at his next event. 
there might be a thousand, two thousand people at this event, right? Yep. This is the perfect time it, to get a premiere or a VIP ticket. If you want to hang out with the big dogs and you know meet Grant Cardone, network with these guys. Because trust me when I tell you, Cody, you went down and you 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 went down and met Grant, and you you went to his office, and I know how much that has done for your business. Think about this, guys. You could come in, come to the VIP party, meet these guys. There's not going to be a lot of people here. This is a great time if you're thinking about opening up an agency or if you're trying to grow your agency like Cody was, like I am. You know, I know Cody, when you met Grant and you you did all that with him, it, it's 5X to your business. I've watched you it, overnight, over the over the last eight months since you've been – talking to Grant and working with Grant. and I mean, this kind of stuff doesn't happen very often when you can get involved in a conference like this and have an opportunity to, to network with these types of people. The energy is going to be sick. Dude, it's going to be nuts, man. We've got a, we've got a celebrity MC, John Petz. The dude's incredible from stage. Uh, we've got a, D, a, 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 a DJ that has DJed a lot of events around Nashville. He's going to be incredible as well. Uh, dude, you actually introduced me to one of the speakers that I'm extremely excited to hear as well, Mr. Charlie China, Exposing Clothes, man. Uh, you actually introduced me to that relationship. He's been kind of, most people don't even know, he's been kind of behind the scenes helping a lot and really kind of mentoring me on throwing in a conference and an event because, dude, it's like that's something I've never done, man. Uh, yeah, you know, Charlie, uh, Charlie is the uh, vice president of Lightspeed VT, uh, which many of you guys that know Grant Cardone, Cardone University is built on Lightspeed VT, uh, which is a training software. Uh, my company, uh, uh, Final Expense Televersity, is built on Lightspeed VT, and Charlie Cena uh, is the guy that basically sells that platform to guys like Les Brown, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, uh, Tim Damon. Grover, Damon John. All of these guys are on Lightspeed VT. And so Charlie is amazing, man. The guy is awesome. And he knows how to expose and close. That's for sure. Dude, he really does, man. I'm excited to get to hear him. Uh, is there anything else that if, – if, let's do this. If you can speak to a to a struggling agent right now, because apparently a lot of people are struggling. If ninety two percent of our industry is failing, if you could speak to that, that specific person right now, what would you say? Here's what I here's what I say because I talk to I talk to probably a hundred agents uh, a month uh, or more. Okay, that want to, to work for my company. And I, I personally interview these people because I put a lot of skin in the game with, with these people. And in the biggest issue that I see with agents, the, the agents that are struggling, because a lot of them that are coming to me are coming from other platforms and they're, they're struggling and they're, they're suffering. What I tell them all the time is I say, you know, guys, you've got to be willing to humble yourself. The industry has um, unfortunately brainwashed a lot of people into believing that they can do it all on their own. And the reality of it is, is that a new agent, newly licensed, isn't going to know how to go out and procure leads, isn't going to know how to, you know, conserve business, doesn't know how to field underwrite, doesn't know how to sell over the telephone or sell in the field. And there's so many variables that, you know, you've got to know. And, and what, they're, what they're being told is you got to go out and get these high, high contracts and buy all your own leads. I tell agents, look, find somebody that is willing to mentor you, somebody who's successful like Cody. You know, I know you have an agency. Um, find somebody that's willing to take you in under their wing and be willing to pay for that help. You know, when I got started in this business, I had a mentor and the first thing he said to me, he said, you know, Vince, uh, when I first got started in this business, I was a valet parker. He said, I, I worked at this country club and I saw all these rich guys driving in their Ferraris and their Mercedes Benz and their Beamers and their Bentleys showing up to the country club. And I was parking their cars and I, I got an opportunity to meet a lot of these guys and find out what they were doing. And he said, you know, 50 percent of them were insurance salesmen. 
And and I, I thought to myself, I mean, gosh, these guys are all insurance salesmen. I, I mean, I need to look into insurance. And so what he told his mentor at the time is he said, look, listen, if you can show me how to do this, what you do, I'll work for free. I'll do whatever I got to do if, if you can show me how to do this. And, and so what he did was he kept valet parking and he kept showing up at that office, mentoring under this guy. And, and he humbled himself. Now, I'm not saying that agents should work for free. That's not what I'm promoting here. But I'm, I'm, I'm putting I'm setting an example that, you know, stop thinking that you can do all of this stuff on your own. You got to be willing to plug into a system and make sure you're working with credible people. Humble yourself under somebody so that you can learn. Yeah, you bring you bring up some awesome points because a lot of new a lot of agents in general are too good to learn from anyone else. And if you're if, if you're not learning in this business, especially where there's more millionaires in the financial services and insurance industry than any other industry in the world, where 92% of us fail. If you're not learning and you're not adapting along the way in this career, dude, you won't make it. You just won't, you won't be here. You won't be here. You won't be, you won't, you won't be with Vince on stage at Nissan stadium, listening to him drop bombs about telesales, man. You just, you won't be with us. Yeah. 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 I'm going to talk about how you're going to be able to be able to close 10 plus sales every single week, average 8,000 in AP every single week, week in, week out, working from your home office like this. There's nothing better, Cody. No doubt, man, dude. We're, we're, we're extremely excited. We're expecting a ton of vendors, a, a, a ton of agents to be able to come. And one of the things, the theme of this whole event is, hey, come learn the mindset, the mission, and the moves to produce millions of dollars and be one of the top 8%. Because every agent gets in the insurance business to create long-term generational wealth and recurring revenue. They get it. That's, that's why they get in this business, man. And it's such an awesome business to make all of those things possible. For those just joining, this is Vince Pompanato, managing partner of North Star Insurance Advisors. He's a keynote speaker and a diamond sponsor of the 8% Nation Insurance Wealth Conference. He will be speaking from the same stage as Ray Lewis, Grant Cardone, Tim Story, Coach Michael Bird, Charlie Chena, all of these incredible guys, myself and all these other industry guys. We're extremely excited about him being there in honor of Vince speaking and also being on this Facebook live interview. We've actually, uh, he said, Hey dude, I want you to hook up our audience with some type of, some type of discount. So we're giving away 50% off. If you use, if you, if you use it by September the 10th at 8% nation.com, if you use the coupon code telesales, you can get 50% off of your seat in honor of Vince, man. You guys thank him, buddy. Awesome. We got so, so what? Come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's look. We've had, uh, we had, we had one by. Okay, yeah, perfect. G Giovanni says, "Hey, hello. Uh, I have a question. I believe this is your son, too, right?" I think so. Yeah. Hey, this is a brilliant question because most people they would never think to ask this. I don't know how, how old your son is, but dude, he's 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 following in your footsteps. He says, "Hey, I have a question. When you have a hard time in work, what do you usually do?" to keep yourself motivated? That is such a good freaking question. <laughs> what I do is I, I, I stay plugged in, man. I, I watch Cody Askin shows. I watch Grant Cardone. I remind myself of my goals. I look at my goals. You know, when the tough gets going, you got to mm -hmm. stop thinking about the tough and you got to think about what you desire. You know, you can't, you can't think about the pain. You got to think about what you're, what you're, what you're going after. And, Pain is temporary, man. Pain is very, very temporary, and you have to understand that. So you got to put yourself into a position where you're you're watching people that may not be having a bad day, you know that that are that are pumped up. You gotta you gotta get around the right people. That that's what it is for me, Cody. It's just staying around the right people. And and we're in an age right now where you know our mentors are on our phones, man. We don't need we don't need to go to some office and meet these people. We can just plug in right on the right on the Facebook or, you know, we, we got it, we got it right in our hands. Completely, completely. Dude, I love that question so much. One of the things I do because most, 
dude, everyone is going to struggle at some point in the future. So maybe at some point every day, as my wife chimes in, no pain, no gain, dude, it's part of it. It's, it's one of the things I do to kind of reset my mind every day is I go through and write down my goals every single morning. It totally resets me because I may wake up, I may have had a horrible day before, but when I wake up, I've got to clear my mind so I don't take the previous day into the current day. That's one of the things that's really, really helped me stay really hyper-focused on whatever I'm looking to accomplish. Let me ask you a question, Cody. You've been asking me questions. I mean, you came back from the 10X Growth Con last year and you just went gangbusters and you decided to throw this conference. You came out of nowhere with it. I mean, out of nowhere with it. And I know you've spent, I'm not going to say the amount of money, but it's, it's way, way, way up there. Okay. I'm talking way up there. So, uh, you know, talk to me about how you, you made that decision because I think that when you went to the growth con, I don't know if you've ever been to something like that before, but I think you saw so much, uh, potential there that you said, you know what? I need to do this. And you just stepped out off the ledge. How did you do that? I mean, what talk to the audience about how you, how you went and, and did such a, a big thing like that. Thank you, buddy. I mean, that, that that's, one of the things that most people do, we are natural, we're all natural procrastinators. We all naturally, my dog's barking in the background. We all naturally, we all naturally are procrastinators just in general. Well, rather than procrastinating, one of the things that I did was, I'm like, okay, if it's the right time to throw a conference ever, if I ever want to throw a conference at any point in the future, then right now, I might as well do it because it's kind of always been a dream of mine. Ever since I was a brand new agent, it's always been a dream of mine to throw a conference in general, a big event. And I left that conference thinking, you know what? Everyone always procrastinates when they want to do something, they do it later. Like we've got thousands of people that are thinking about coming to this event, but we're natural procrastinators. So we don't pull the trigger. We don't take action. And I told myself, you know what? You preach for people to take action, to not wait. If it's the right thing to do tomorrow, today, tomorrow, or 10 years from now, then just pull the trigger and do it now. And so honestly, I did it as a challenge to myself because I'm someone that I need challenges in my life. I need to be challenged every once in a while. And so I said, what better way to put myself out there and to bring value to an industry and to challenge me to do something that no one ever dreamed I would do this soon, especially myself. So I'm like, dude, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just, let's just, let's just go after. Let's do it, man. Hey, that's, that's amazing. And let's do this, Cody. I hope you don't kill me for this. No, no, go for it. Anybody that watches this video right now, and uses the coupon code TELESALES to purchase their ticket, I'm going to buy them a second ticket. Whoa, dude. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, that's awesome, man, dude. That's super kind to of you. We're, we're live on video, so I can't keep you from doing it now. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that's cool, that buys a ticket using the coupon code TELESALES, I'm going to give you a second ticket for free. Yep. I put it up on the screen. You go to apersonation.com, use coupon code TELESOS for 50% off. And not only do you get 50% off, but apparently you buy one and dude, Vince is going to buy the second one for you to bring a friend or your spouse or another agent or your manager or your boss or whatever. So that's cool, man. Thanks that's for how much I believe in this, man. I, you know, people need to take action and sometimes you got to give them an incentive to do so. If you're on the fence, you know, bring your friend with you, bring somebody with you, split the hotel. You won't regret it. You will not regret it. I promise you. Cody, that's all I got, buddy, man. This was fun. I appreciate you bringing me on here to talk. Uh, I hope I hope a lot of people sign up. Dude, me as well, man. We're looking forward to, to helping a lot of people, getting to network with a ton of agents. And dude, thank you and Northstar for getting involved. Dude, I'm excited to hear Vince speak, guys. He's going to, dude. 
Vince is going to surprise a lot of people, man, at this deal. He's, he may even surprise I, himself. I got, some, I got some surprises. I do got some surprises for you. I love that. I love that. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you being on. Thanks for being a part of this Wealth Conference. And thanks for being on tonight for the interview, brother. Appreciate you being involved. All right, Thank buddy. you, buddy. Hey, for everybody watching, man, dude, I'm telling you, you got to surround yourself with successful people, people on the same mission as you, people that you love being around, people that you can learn from, people that you want to network with, and people that can be mentors in your life. And that's what Vince has been for me. We're super excited to have him involved in the Apertion Nation Insurance Wealth Conference. Do him a, do him a favor and go to ApertonNation.com. Use the coupon code TELESELLS for 50% off. And he's going to buy a ticket for your friend or your spouse or your manager or your, your, your other agent. So, dude, thanks again, buddy. All right, buddy. See you later. See you guys. Hey, thanks so much. Go grab your tickets. You can hang out with people like Vince. Dude's going to drop some bombs and you're going to learn tangible nuggets that you can apply into your business as soon as you get back from the conference Nissan Stadium. Thanks again, Vince. And thanks you guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.